Hi, welcome back to Mark and Cindy's Food Forest here in Lutz, Florida. And today we're going to look at my most favorite fruit that I've ever discovered in the entire world, and that's the sugar apple. Now this here is a sugar apple tree that I've grown from seed. And this thing has taken off. It's, uh, gosh, probably less than two years old, and it's in a good, a good area. It's taken off really well. They're fast growers. So this tree is really taken off. Now, I have not gotten any sugar apples off any of my trees. I had one big tree at one time that put off a ton of fruit, and it got killed by the winter freeze. So they don't really take uh, freezing or below for maybe the more than a day or so. So you need to protect them in the wintertime. But I've grown about probably close to 30 sugar apple trees from seed. They got a high germination rate. And I've given them away to friends of mine to grow in their own home. And they keep them in pots for the most part. Some of them I put them in the ground. But these sugar apples are very easy to grow. And I want to encourage you uh, to grow these fruits. I'm going to show you in a minute. I did not get any fruit this year because I've just recently planted new trees. Hopefully this one uh, coming this summer or late spring in the summer will give us some fruit. And I've got another one in another area, and I planted four other ones from seeds that are only this big. So eventually I hope to start getting more fruit. In the meantime, one of my friends from Tom, I mean from church, his name is Tom, he gave me one of the sugar apples that I, I gave to him. I gave him one of the trees that I grew from seed. It's probably about that big. And he got five fruits off of it. And so he has given them uh, one of them to me and I want to show you today. This here is the sugar apple. Now these are grown basically in South America, southern Mexico, the Caribbean, uh, in Brazil and in India, any climate that's tropical. You can also grow them in zones 8 through 10 in subtropical areas except you do have to protect them during the winter time. And, uh, but they are very good trees. They're easy to grow. They do produce a wonderful fruit. And uh, again, anywhere where it's tropical, you want to protect them in the wintertime so they don't die from a freeze. Uh, I basically fertilize my sugar apple tree with a 10-10-10. And I do a light pruning in the springtime. And at that point, I'll give it a 2-10-10 to focus on the fruit production. But they're low-maintenance trees. Uh, they ripen very quickly on the tree and so when they uh, start to get a certain color, I'm going to show you now. These start out as like a pale kind of green color and then what happens when it gets ripe on the tree, you'll start to notice these little uh, notches or what, whatever you want to call them become more pronounced and you start to see the white in between the actual little separations here and it gets more separation. It'll feel spongy. This one here is perfect and you can feel it has a little bit of give to it. So you don't want to leave them on the tree too long otherwise they'll over ripen and fall off the tree. Now we're going to show you this one. I'm going to open it up here. All you do is basically just peel it open and what this is is a white pulp and it's kind of got like granules to it, like a sugar granule if you would. And you basically just take some sections out. You may want to have to just pull this with my fingers and show you what it looks like. There you go. I'm going to try a piece of this now. This is a wonderful fruit. It is the most unique taste now, in certain countries, they call them sugar apples. Some they're called uh, uh, sweet sop. And some of them call them uh, different names. But you look it up under, on the internet, you'll see a sugar apple. And uh, custard apple or sweet sop. But these are wonderful tasting fruit. A little black seed right there. And like I said, they have a high germination rate. So I have about, probably about six of them right now that I grew from seeds that are still in pots. And uh, I will be planting these, taking these seeds and making more seedlings to grow. Anyway, it's a very unique fruit. 
uh, they're very easy to grow. I'd encourage you to try and grow these because uh, they're not difficult. I have had, haven't had any problems with pests or uh, any kind of diseases to the tree. You see this one's like very healthy and they grow pretty quick. Uh, typically it will take two to three years before you get fruit. Uh, it just so happens the one that I gave to my friend, Tom, his within a year and a half gave him like five or six fruit on his tree. So, and one of them I grew last year did the same. It gave me two fruits, but this year it gave me nothing. Don't know why. But anyway, you want to uh, fertilize them on a regular basis. Uh, you can grow them in containers. It makes it easy to bring them in the house if it gets too cold. Bring them back out when it starts to warm up again. Anyway, uh, wonderful fruit. There's a lot of fruits out there that people don't know about. This is one that you, most people do not know what this is. And again, if you live in South Florida, uh, they do grow these down there. Uh, God's creation is wonderful. He's given us tons of fruit. I feel blessed with everything that I have here. And it's, again, a testimony to God's creation. And I just want to encourage you to go ahead and start growing yourself. Give these a try if you can. And uh, I'm sure that you won't be disappointed. You're really going to enjoy this fruit. It's very tropical. It's a custard-like flavor to it. A very sweet, wonderful taste. So again, till we meet again, start growing and be blessed.